Live. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Scott and Mary's Ping Pong Podcast number two, where we play ping pong and talk about silly stuff, like nothing. Oh, construction on our house. We are having construction on our house. They demolished the termite wooden patio today. I don't know there's termites. Okay. Wood rot, whatever you want to call it. There's a falcon in the front of the house. And so we are starting to replace it on the second floor. And uh, they, today they came in and did the demo. To remove all the outside workings, but kind of left in the, the bones on the bottom to play on building around. They wanted to see whether it was in good condition or whether it had to be replaced. The crux being that if it need to be replaced, then we would need to get permanents, otherwise it's just a repair, and I'm not quite sure, but it looks like it was a decent condition, if not perfect. So. so thank you to Karen for all the ping pong links yesterday. Karen wants us to be ping pong pros, we're thinking about it, um, but kind of revel in the fact that we are doing our own thing as opposed to being competitive and highly skilled or being good at anything. We used to actually, when we were on a honeymoon, we went to Europe for 11 weeks, kind of got a Euro pass and rode around, visited all sorts of places. <laughs> and um, we stayed at the home of Ewald and Erica Nolte in Outside of Wolfsburg, Venthausen, W-E-N-D-H-A-U-S-E-N. -E -E <laughs> and they had a ping pong table, and we stayed there for about a week, and we played a bunch of ping pong there. And so, it's kind of similar to that. You know, kind of enjoyed it. I never really got into it between now and then, because it was working or raising kids. But it was never about scoring points, it was always about having fun. site that Karen sent over about there's a specific way you serve. You're not supposed to bounce it. You're supposed to like throw it up in the air and hit it before it hits the ground. But I don't know if you're supposed to hit it on your side or not. Maybe Karen can look it up. <laughs> Unless of course she's at graduation, in which case you probably won't. Maybe she'll look it up she's at graduation, although graduation was probably like at four. backwards because we didn't know how to do it. So this time we brought a teeny tiny little tripod. Actually, a teeny tiny tripod and another sort of phone stand in case that one didn't work. But right now we're using a teeny tiny tripod. Oh, yeah, I tried to score a point there. Oh! <laughs> Hope everybody enjoyed that shot. The one right hit me in the arm? Totally missed the table. Anyway, the teeny tiny tripod seems to be working fine. It doesn't fit as good in my pockets. Totally missed the table. As the little stand does, but. It's a little more adjustable for angle, which is one of the issues here that we put the camera slash phone on the same foosball table that was on yesterday, but obviously you shouldn't be able to see the foosball table at this point because we're using a little tray on. Oh! They were saying something about on the <laughs> on the uh, one of the ping pong sites that Karen sent over about how they call ping pong high speed chess. <laughs> So I, speed chess, that's interesting. I guess if you start to study ping pong now, that strategy comes into play. It, yeah, you're kind of deciding on the angles much quicker than you have to in chess. I wouldn't compare it to chess, but they do. That was the famous donut paddle shot. Karen yeah, also says the swing and miss donut. Donut paddle. Karen also sent us a site about a ping pong center in. 
torrents, where we can just go and pay and play, don't have to worry about Sears closing, or buying our own table. Uh, and it's about uh, 10 to $20 an hour, depending on how exclusive you want the table to be. Uh, and it's maybe a mile or two from here, so we may try that later. Especially if Sears is in here forever. Ping pong card? score, so. It's all about not chasing the ping pong. Nobody wants to go looking for it behind boxes of camping gear. But apparently there are rules. There are rules. We just don't care. When Jacob and I were looking at ping pong tables online between Sears and Amazon, and there were some for like $79 or some for like $6,000. And then we looked at the measurements for a ping pong table, which is about nine feet by five feet, measured in our house, which rooms we have that would fit that. <laughs> Basically, the only one that would is the brand new living room that we just finished. Um, and we ain't doing it in there. Because <laughs> we just put in a 24 foot wide by seven foot high sliding uh, accordion window glass, and you do not want to have done ping pong accidents. Good work, accidents uh, in that particular room. So then we would have to do construction in pretty much any other room. And now it's got to have to chase the ping pong all the way across the floor. So for anybody who's interested in purchasing a ping pong set, this set is 2339 with four paddles and three balls. Commercial for Sears. Thanks, Sears. They do let us play here. Conveniently. By Tiga. Although we've changed tables several times. Yeah, the green one over is over there. They started off on this one, the blue one. And then they put half of it up and put an advertising sign on it. And took over the there. net away. <laughs> took the net away. Yeah. So we had to, then they put out a green one, which is over there. But then the green one somehow went over there and lost two of its legs. We don't know how or why. But the net was still on it, but there was no net on this one, so we brought that net over here. Because that one was definitely not a table anymore. It's like somebody came over and was missing the legs in their set or something, and came over here and just took the ones off the demo. And now it's nothing. Well, they fell off when they moved, and so we didn't pay attention. And they disappeared into unknown ping pong table school legs. Important comments. Comments? Betty Cameron Barr says, hot here too. <laughs> Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. It's kind of warm downstairs. It's not too hot outside. No, it's cool outside. I was, in fact, we were walking outside before. My hands were cold. Because we don't bring jackets with us. We just, no matter how the weather looks, we pretty much make our way from the car to the mall. We just don't walk outside when it's cold or wet. Right, so when we walk around the mall, it takes about two hours to do a circuit of the whole mall. It tends to be about five, six miles, but sometimes you can get more. Depending. And currently, I'm not getting any credit for my steps because my phone is recording the ping pong instead of in my pocket while I'm playing the ping pong. So it'll be very hard to impress Lauren, who I've been posting on his Facebook post about his bike riding with my walking. So. Either means I have to actually walk, uh, or my scores, my pedometer basically won't be going as high. Ah, yes, but, oh, good shot. See, except that I shot on my wife and I made it go over there, so I feel bad, even though I got a theoretical point that we don't keep score. Boogie's on Utopia. Go and dance for not that much money. 
get out of your parents' house for a while. Can I exercise? Well, they this all this stuff about Chinese old ladies, so he's, you know. They say all this stuff about how kids move back into the nest after they leave now. And we say, no, 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 So he is kind of living with us at the moment, even though he's getting ready to go to school at Chapman in the fall. And he's looking for an apartment down there. Because while he could get there in the morning, getting back in the afternoon would be crazy. And he wants to be part of the campus community um, and wants to, you know, live on his own, not live at his parents' house. Which not we that support. Be able to invite people back to hang out or work on projects. It's nearly first, impossible if he lives with us. As soon as his first semester is over, he'll have a job there too, so he'll be able to help pay his own rent. Gucci was making fun of us for coming over here after the shooting a few days ago. Um, but we don't want to let the terrorists win. Stephen Bard is watching. Hi, Steve. I came up with a song about ping pong if anybody wants to hear it. I'm sure everybody watching wants to hear it. Alright, so here's how it goes. Ping pong, ping pong, we're playing. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Oh, would you like to come play ping pong with me? Ping pong, ping pong, don't you like to Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Wouldn't you like to come play ping pong with me? Do you think anybody like the song? Lynn Finitary Silberger is watching. She like the song. Beth says, I have a feeling you're not sorry, H. Scott Cohn. <laughs> Hi, Lynn.
so he was one of our inspirations, and Lauren was one of our inspirations too, because he always does the Strava bike routing app, and so he doesn't really video it, but he takes some pictures and it shows, shows the route, and shows he's exercising, and it sort of got me to put on the pedometer so that we could kind of post on his posts, video and giving us incentive to exercise. Oh! <laughs> Barely nicked it. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. basically tore our living room up, at least one wall, because there was a fireplace between us, our living room, and the ocean view. And, uh, and who needs a fireplace in Southern California? Right, we've got a gas one upstairs, and we never used the one downstairs. It was enormous. And so we replaced it with basically a wall of glass that opens and then put a new deck outside of that window to kind of extend the living room, make it kind of a bigger entertaining space, and then put another deck down below that at ground level. And more outside space. But we're still waiting. We've got a fire pit to put out there, but it hasn't been installed yet. And we're working a little bit on the landscaping, but otherwise it's getting closer to use it. Get some lighting, we've got to do some adjustments on the door because it's not quite right yet. It's very pretty. But when it gets hot, it uh, makes it hard to open. So we're getting ready to do it, fix it so we can basically keep it uh, so it works really well. And then we saw when we were doing that that this deck off the uh, second level outside of the guest room in the home theater was starting to fall apart. So we had to rip it up today and start on a brand new project. I told our contractor, Greg Keenan, that I wanted to do it just like the deck and back, which is very modern, and it's Trex, um, a gray Trex deck with a glass wall with a kind of a stainless chrome Don't railing. I said I want to do the same thing in the front. He's like, nah, that's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back the way it came. So Pete Mokler was the architect. And uh, he's actually friends with Chuck Briskin as well, because I think they were at Rotary together. I think this going to be our last volley, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting punchy. 
Hope you've had a marvelous time tonight. Let us know in the comments if there's anything you want us to talk about tomorrow. Or Saturday. Or Sunday. Or the next day we're here whenever that is. Right. If you suggest we play other sports, it's probably not going to happen. But you never know. You might make a funny comment. Well, there's a pool table behind you, but there's no pool balls or pool cues. Well, I know where they are. <laughs> he knows where they keep their supplies. Bye. Bye. Hi, Beth Greenberg, Daddario.